Hello and welcome back to another Diecast Emporium review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Diecast Masters Caterpillar Pavers in 1 to 50 scale. The first one is the Cat AP600F, which is a wheeled paver. And the second one is the Cat AP655F, which is a rubber tracked paver. Now both of these pavers are essentially the same, with the exception of one has wheels and one has rubber tracks. But what's really cool about these is the interchangeable... Uh, canopies and exhaust stacks and different posing opportunities that both of these allow. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at each of these. And the first thing that I will note, as we look at the AP600, this of course is the wheeled version, the wheeled paver. The front wheels do steer, as you can see. Pretty good range of motion there. Uh, underneath, pretty plain detail on both of these pavers. They're identical. However, there is some nice paint added. The rear tires have a nice tread pattern in rubber and look very good. Although it's difficult to see in this lighting, the screed is not very highly detailed. But let's be honest, who poses their models like this? Uh, not most of us, I certainly would hope. The auger mechanism, which spreads the aggregate asphalt out, is a plastic piece and it does not spin. But again, who really cares to see that detail unless you have a massive accident on your job site and your paver ends up upside down. Okay, so let's get started on the features. The uh, hopper wings can fold up and they do fold down. The belt here is actually really not a belt if we're being honest. It's casted into the die cast as are the uh, rubber wheels here which would engage the back of the dump truck to push it along, but that's okay. On the side, we have some great graphics, including right here where it says Cat Grade Control. And you also have some warning labels on the screen as well. On the back, you can see a very, very detailed screen mechanism with some controls that are highlighted and painted great. If I can tilt it there, you can see those a little bit better. And we'll show the screen details on the other paper. Like I said, the function and detail on, on the screen in particular is the same. Now, as you can obviously tell with this one, this has the canopy on it, and not only can you take the canopy off or put it on both of these pavers, whichever you desire, but they also come with two different exhaust stacks. So if you have the canopy on, you obviously are going to want your exhaust kind of at a little bit of an angle, which you can kind of see here a little bit. Uh, whereas if you had the straight up and down one, it would just kind of take exhaust in underneath the canopy and probably wouldn't end up very good for the operator there, so... Pretty cool that Diecast Masters has even taken that step to include interchangeable exhausts, depending on if you want the configuration of the canopy on, or if you want the configuration of the canopy off. In addition to that, Bob is removable, thankfully. So you can have him operating inside the cab, uh, or you can have him removed if you want to pose these pavers on a low boy. Okay, so there's the AP600F with the canopy installed on it. Here is the 655, again, which is a tracked paver. And the first thing you'll notice is the angle, there's the straight up exhaust, whereas opposed to it was angled on the canopy one, and obviously the absence of the uh, canopy. I've also taken the time to show that the, the screed is extendable. And also, it does go up and down. It actually goes below the machine if you want to have an extreme paving angle. All of the railings on here, unfortunately, as you can probably tell, are plastic, but that's not always a bad thing because A, the color match is good, and B, a lot of times with plastic, it's easier to get them to scale, and I think it works well on this model. Up on top here with the canopy off, you can see that the operator's controls on both stations are done up very, very well and are highlighted with some paint and look great. And now we will quickly see what it looks like with a uh, dump truck. This dump truck in particular is a CT660, which many of us have had for years. But any 150 scale American style dump truck will link up nicely with this. I've tried it with the, the Sword Peterbilts. I've tried it with uh, Conrad. I've tried it with a few other dump trucks. They end up looking pretty good. So there you go, guys. 
that is a review of the brand new Diecast Masters Cat AP600 and AP655F pavers in 1 to 50 scale by Diecast Masters. These are a huge step up from their Norscott predecessors in the fact that you have the option to display these multiple ways with different exhaust combinations, the canopy on or off. Uh, you can have obviously a wheel paver or a track paver, adjustable screeds. Really, both of these are fantastic models. So really, it's kind of a case of whether you like the wheeled machine or you like the track machine. Both of them have the same functions and details. It's really just your preference. Before I sign off on this video, I will quickly show you the tins. As these are Highline Series models, they come in tins, not boxes. The AP655 has a picture of a European-style dump truck discharging into it. Note the canopy. I don't know what... I don't know for whatever reason, but here in the United States, um, a lot of times you will see pavers canopy lists, if you will, or naked. Uh, whereas overseas, a lot of times you will see a lot of pavers with the canopy on them. Not sure if that's a uh, emission standard deal or uh, what that all involves. On the back, you can pause the video and read the specification details on the 655 if you want to. And there's another high quality gloss picture of it. And the 655 is item number 85590 for reference. The 600 is 85591. Pretty easy numbers to remember there. Likewise, the top 10 of the picture uh, of the AP600F is another European style one. You can very obviously make out a Euro style dump truck here. And again, with the canopy on it as well. Side has a picture of the model. And here you can really see the difference exhaust where you can see where it's angled that I was trying to explain to you. And on the back, another good picture. And once again, if you want to pause the video and do a little reading, you have the specification details on screen left. All right, guys, as always, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're in the market for new pavers and one to 50 scale, uh, I definitely would recommend these two. They are not very expensive by any stretch of the imagination. And while they may not have the same level of detail and uh, function of some of the NZG pavers, honestly, these are really, really good. And uh, again, you really can't beat it for the price. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Take care, be safe, have a great rest of your day, guys. And thank you very much for watching.